Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is the Cosmic Order number three and is a follow-up in my series um, World Harmonics and the Ethos of Love. The Cosmic Order is an element of uh, the World Harmonics and uh, in uh, the Cosmic Order number two I uh, ended with uh, the comparison of uh, planet mandalas and um, mandalas in the cathedral of Chartres where the uh, whereas the cathedral of Chartres is an example of fantastic uh, church um, pictures and mandalas our forefathers created here in Europe to express their relationship to the universe well, as you can see here on the picture, um, which is from the Cathedral of Chartres, there are five columns at the bottom, similar to, <laughs> yeah, what's it called, a penis, I would say. It's the form of a penis, or, yes, um, I'll show you that. There is an old, um, the oldest expression of the god Shiva is uh, formed like a column, like uh, similar to uh, the ones you see here in the Cathedral of Chartres. And I'll show you that now. Well, here it is. This is made of a uh, sort of stone, and as you can see, the shape and uh, um, Shiva is in the middle. He is standing on the shoulders of a demon, which expresses the demon is sitting there at the bottom, and the god is standing on him. Uh, yeah, and that expresses that uh, this. God defeats the bad and the evil. And uh, furthermore, uh, the whole shape, you, as you can see, is uh, formed like a penis, which is a symbol of the creating force. And this is formed like the columns that we are, or that carry, that not that we are, sorry, that carry um, the circles above the five columns. Well, here we have a detail of uh, this glass window, one of the glass windows, and um, when we count the three circles around the middle point where you can see uh, well that's very small but we can see that um, a symbol of God showing us his right hand palm is in the middle of this three circles. And if we count the, the circles, there are always 12. And that is like a clock, a watch. Well, the number 12 is found here in um, this graphic expression of um, six possible configurations of um, the three huge planets Jupiter, Saturn and Neptune. If we count the outer conjunction points, we'll count 12 points. And that is exactly the number of the before seen uh, zodiac and this is uh, the exact number of <laughs> our clock and the watch again. 
and that is all by accident. Hmm? Do you think so? Here this picture once again, uh, the number five created by the conjunctions of Venus and Earth. And the next one here uh, shows how um, the planet Pluto transforms the Venus and Earth connection or relationship into a six-numbered figure. If we count here the, the flower looking like black middle and um, what's it called in English? Oh yeah, the loop-shaped red lines in the middle, there are six. And um, also, um, here the next picture shows that um, Mars transforms the Jupiter-Uranus six-cornered star into the number five. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Hmm. Well, the number five is important. Look at this picture, this famous picture of Leonardo da Vinci showing the perfect proportions between a circle and a square. And uh, they are built up from uh, the five limbs of a human being. And we got five fingers on each hand and we got five twos on each foot. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Huh? Our body is expressing uh, naturally the star conjunctions. So there is an analogy between our body and uh, cosmic movements of cosmic bodies and spirits. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Each human being expresses numbers of conjunctions of heavenly bodies and spirits. Well, and the number five is found in ancient alchemy. Um, they said that um, everything existed out of five elements, earth, wind, fire, water, and spirit. Um, that is in uh, Chinese or Asian uh, philosophy and alchemy, um, the same as in the European alchemy and philosophy. So if we uh, look at mandalas now, here is uh, the picture of uh, the glass windows in the cathedral of Chartres in France again. Um, we can realize now that there is a vital connection between spirituality and art. Uh, the mandalas are an important evidence for that. Spirituality and art have been together in the consciousness of our forefathers for ages and generations and generations and generations. Thank <music> you.